Hello everyone, welcome back to another watching. Today we get to take a look at a watch from the Singerman Watch Company. Before we get to that, we'll do a quick wrist check. You'll see that I am wearing my Stratton Legera Bullhead Chrono. Now, also guys, if you're looking for promo codes or discount codes, I have discount codes for Spinnaker, Aviate, and Ballast. And just so you know, the Kickstarter campaign is about to end on the um, iconic Halo Klein. So if you wanted in on that one, you better jump in as fast as possible. Now, the watch we're going to take a look at today is um, one that Sangaman has sent out to the watch reviewers so we can take a look at. So the cool thing about that is you can check. There will be more reviews on this one, some of the other reviewers. Um, so you can get a few different opinions on it. I will say it is in a very nice watch box that has um, a nice cherry wood with a high gloss piano finish on this one. Really nice watch, watch box. Let's go ahead and open it up. See, we've got a nice little wipe down cloth. Got a pocket up here with a few different things in it. Let's take a look. Looks like we've got warranty card, which the warranty cards are metal, kind of cool. I like the logo. And we've got a limited edition. So these are limited to 500 watches. Now this one is the part of the Lincoln's River collection, which is in the new beginning series. So this book gives you a lot of the history on Lincoln and where the inspiration for the, the actual artwork here came from as well as that artwork is on the back of the piece. So we will take a look at that as well. Now, getting a little bit closer look, you can see this one is the two-tone gold and silver. This is a 316L stainless steel case. Now, this one, not necessarily my style. They do have a full silver, which would definitely be the one, me personally, I would be going for. You can see it's an automatic, new beginnings has a very nice white dial that has almost a silver quality to it. Now this case is a 42 millimeter case. It is 12 millimeters thick and this one is 49 millimeters lug to lug. The bracelet bracelet on this one is a 22 millimeter bracelet. Now I like these hidden butterfly clasps. The only problem I have with them is it seems like my roughly seven inch wrist is a little bit of a weird size. So there's no micro adjustments on that clasp. That's where I kind of end up with a little bit of issue sometimes trying to size them. And then you can see the case back there that has that Lincoln's River image in it, limited edition. You see, ooh, there we go. So we've got Japanese movement, 24 joules, sapphire glass, five ATM water resistance. So this one has a 50 meter water resistant on it. We've got their logo on the crown, which nothing on the bracelet. This is a standard push pull crown. Um, this one is running the Seiko NH35 movement, so it can be manually wound. Oops. Pull to the first position. You have quick date set. And it is a hackable movement. You can see the second hand stop there. So when you go to set it, you can get it very precise. I like what they've done a lot with this piece. I like the history where they took their inspiration from. I wish my camera would stay focused on it, but let's see. There we go. There's a better look at that case back. Really cool. It says Lincoln's River. 
And that depiction is of a younger Lincoln in 1831 going down the Sangamon River. Hopefully I say that right. It's kind of a weird word. Going down the Sangamon River where he actually got his boat stuck on a mill dam and had to work to get it out. Now, there it is on my roughly seven inch wrist. It is a nice size for a dressier piece. You know, some people like a little bit smaller on the dress, dress type watches. I like the 40 to 42 millimeter range. I think it's a nice size. And you can see how nice and clean that looks. When, you, when we look at the bracelet, it looks like I would probably be removing maybe three links out of that one. So I could still have it a little loose on my roughly seven inch wrist. If I did four, it might be a little tight. We aren't gonna go dark on this one because there's no loom, but you can see that nice sapphire glass does have a little bit, it does have an anti-reflective coating on that one, which is also nice. I will say the fit and finish of this piece is very, very nice. Um, for me, I would be doing the all silver version. Um, it would just fit my style a little bit better. They do have a watch that um, is currently on pre-order that looks really cool. It's part of the Omaha Beach collection, which would be a really cool one to get to take a look at. So who knows, maybe Sangamon will let us take a look at those as well. Now this watch currently is on their site on sale for $399. And I will link to that site below so you guys can check out the other pieces and check out the Lincoln's River collection and see what you think about this watch in the all silver. I know a lot of people really love the two-tone. It just doesn't fit my style as much, but it is a very nice piece. It has very nice fit and finish on it. And I think if this is your style, you will really, really enjoy this one. And the fact that it's limited edition, it comes presented very nicely. It has the story, which I think is really cool. They've gone to a lot of lengths to put in a lot of thought into the piece and the story. Let me know what you guys think of this one in the comments below. As always, guys, thanks for watching.